Now, learning outcome C, the heading in your notes, GDP deflator, GDP deflator. All right, so look at this there. I'm again on the IMF website and we are going to this time look at a different set of data set. So we have GDP at constant prices, national currency. And we have GDP at current prices, national currency. So I'm going to use these two numbers and I'm also going to make use of GDP deflator. Okay. And let's get that data. Now, before we start doing the calculations, understand how it works. Imagine uh, we have some base here. Okay, for India, I think IMF, IMF uses, not sure, but about 2012 or 13 is what they use as the base year. And then we have the current year. This is your current year. Let us say price of uh, milk, just kind of ease of an example, just to kind of keep it easy. Price of milk per liter, okay, is, was rupees. 30 per liter in 2012 and it is rupees 50 per liter in 2017 are we okay now the increase from 30 to 50 is what is because of the cumulative inflation not one year but from 12 to 13 13 to 14 so on and so forth now let us say quantity of milk produced and sold quantity of milk produced and sold let us say is 1000 liters so what we can calculate, we can calculate GDP at current prices. We are going to also call this as nominal GDP and then GDP at constant prices. Constant prices, price of the base year, we are going to call this as real GDP. Now. How do you get GDP of current price? So you will say current quantity into current price. So 1000 into 50, that would be 50,000. How do you get GDP at constant price? So you will say current quantity into base year price. So 1000 into 30, which is 30,000. Now in this, in this example, I have just taken one commodity, but imagine all the goods and services in a country. Right? current price versus the constant price so when you look at these two numbers it in a way gives you an idea of the cumulative inflation rate in that country now this inflation number is different than the other inflation indices which are available we will learn that in the subsequent readings we have inflation numbers like CPI which is consumer price index wholesale price index producers price index then we have headline inflation core inflation different type of numbers this GDP deflator kind of takes care of all the goods and services in a country. Are we together with this? And then how do we calculate GDP deflator? So GDP deflator here, okay, that would be 50,000 divided by 30,000. How much is that number? 1.66 one and we typically scale it by 100 so we say GDP deflator is 166 now how to use that number so if I tell you that current GDP deflator of our country is 166 then immediately next question you ask is what's the base year if I tell you let's say 2012 then you will say 12 to 13 13 to 14 14 to 15 15 to 16 16 to 17 how many years 1 2 3 4 and 5 years in five years, your deflator has become 166. What is the inflation rate on an average? Correct. So how will you do it? So you will say inflation rate based on GDP deflator. You will say 100 is the present value. So some good which was worth 100 in 2012. In 2017, it would have become how much? 166. N should be how much? 5 and we compute the IY. How much is that? 10.67. So it gives us an idea of on an average what is the rate at which prices have been increasing in a country. Are we okay with this concept? So you write down this example and then we will look at uh, 
GDP deflator of a few countries. Okay, so assuming you've understood this, uh, recently, uh, no, not very recent, but about three, four, four, three, four months back, uh, there was some sort of a business summit, and I heard uh, Adi Godrej talking there, and he was talking. Do you know Adi Godrej, head of the Godrej Business Group, one of the parts of Business Group, and then he was talking about the uh, economic indicators. And he said that uh, we tend to focus too much on the numbers given by uh, CPI. CPI is consumer price basket. They define a basket of goods used by you and me. Then based on that, they calculate inflation. He said a more appropriate way of looking at inflation numbers is GDP deflator. Because it doesn't take just one or two or three commodities or doesn't take a basket of commodities. It takes inflation number from across the economy it takes all the goods and services together okay so we'll have a look at uh, the deflator numbers for india now so i have i've done this analysis on india for like some time but it would be very interesting to see it for japan and some of the other countries okay so write down uh, data available is 2014 say gdp of india at current prices gdp of india at current prices this is a number 124882 124882 this one then below that gdp of india at constant prices gdp of india at constant prices here 105521 105521 and then below that gdp deflator so the first one was Rona current prices, the second one was cost and prices. Then GDP deflator, so write down GDP at current price divided by GDP at constant price. GDP at current price divided by GDP at constant price, which is equal to 124882 divided by 105521. 124882 divided by 105521 and to scale it multiply with 100 100 being the base here how much is that number coming to 118.34 okay so this is how gdp deflator gets calculated are we okay with this now we would just Another important thing in this is having a look at the base here. That's very important. So let me go to India again one more time. Let's see if they've given the base years here. Hmm. Base here is 11, 12. And it would have been nice if the base year of all the countries would have been same. Then those GDP deflators are comparable. Right? But here I can see that base year for different countries is different. So it would not really be a comparable index, but we'll still, you know, just to kind of have fun out of it, we'll still have a look at them carefully. So should we see the US? Okay. So United States, just the deflator number, that's 108. Okay, we can see the base year for US. Base year is 2000 and Nine. So 2009 to 2014 was that number, correct? So total cumulative inflation is 8%. So we can clearly see that inflation numbers are quite less. And that is generally the theme with or difference between developing and developed worlds. Most of the developing or emerging economies, you would see inflation numbers to be higher compared to developed counterparts. Any other country you want to see? Let's see Japan. That would be interesting. Yeah, that's what I guessed. Japan GDP deflator is 92.541. What does it mean? It means if some good was priced at 100 in the base year, in 2014 the price would have been 92. So that means it is experiencing deflation. deflation. Correct? So, by the way, slightly out of context, have you guys heard of uh, helicopter money? helicopter money so basically whenever country is experiencing deflation 
deflation because people are not buying so what people do in deflationary environment uh, if i buy today it's going to be worth 100 but if i do not buy today i know that next year it might be 95 correct so prices are decreasing and of course for us it's a very difficult concept to imagine uh, but since it's going to be cheaper tomorrow let me not buy today that's what people do and then because they don't buy the supply demand comes down all the more down and then the prices start decreasing it kind of becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy so what uh, governments try to do is they try to give money in the hands of people okay through different ways so japan has tried everything i mean they are kind of the pioneers of quantitative easing okay so they have gone to an extent where now people talk of helicopter money where the the head of the country will sit in a helicopter he'll keep stacks of cash with himself and he will just start pushing that cash with the it's not happening but people say it might happen as in not literally but they they figure out ways of distributing that money and he will just throw that cash in the people so people will take that cash and hopefully they will spend that money and that spending will increase the prices and hopefully the inflation or deflation would be reversed let's look at few more tell me which country you want to have a look at Zimbabwe that seems to be your favorite country Zimbabwe 116 I guess that must be because of the base here uh, so base here is 2009 that currency was abolished in 2008 I mean all the hyper inflationary activities which happened happened after I mean happened before 2008 that's why you don't see that here any other country you would like to see let's do it quick let's see Argentina they have quite high level of inflation Argentina how much 652 that's really high and so on and so forth that's how oh, there's one more with 760 Angola I didn't see that coming anyway so have you understood the concept so I have a few questions for you here. Let's see if we can solve them. So nominal means current price or constant price? Are you sure? So current price 950 and deflator is 131. So what would be real GDP? It would be 950 divided by 1.31. How much would that be? 725. Now the other way around. 950 into 1.31 how much 1244 are we okay guys 